Happening today, Longview ISD is transitioning from remote learning and asking that all students return for on-campus education for the final six-week period of school. Fox 51's Corinne Benandi is live now with more information on this return to classes and what parents can do. Good morning, Corinne. Good morning, Perry. All students are being required to return back to campus for their classes this morning. Now, the students were switched over to a remote style altern alternative last year when the pandemic peaked. And while this thinning, Dr. Wilcox, the superintendent, says out of the 9,000 students that make up the independent school district, at least 1,000 are still not in the classroom every day. He says their absence from the physical hallways has majorly affected their education and created a learning loss. It is still going to be a four or five year process to get the students that are in school now back up to where they should be uh, at, at their reading level. So it is a tremendous task and uh, it's, it's something that uh, we're prepared for and we're looking forward to it, but it's going to be, uh, it, it's, it's going to be hard work for our teacher staff and our, and our principals and our leadership team. To catch up, Wilcox says they have to implement extended days, extended years for students falling behind, and make sure to meet the need of every student's success. Families wishing to continue remote style learning should reach out to their campus principals. These requests will be considered on a case to case basis. And parents can also voice their concerns on this issue during a conversation with Dr. Wilcox. That's happening this Thursday, April 15th, from noon to 3. Other than that, good luck. To the students that are returning to campus today. Live in Longview, Corinne Benandi, Fox 51 News.